in yeah. the days ahead. We're going to uh, start to see as we get into this weekend return to a more of an active pattern here across northern California. At least in the short term, things are quiet, but still chilly out there. Temperatures starting down about 45 in Fairfield, 50 right now in the city of Sacramento. We have had those high clouds in place today, but still staying dry. That will be the case tomorrow. A cold start tomorrow, though into the 30s yet again, 36 in the city of Sacramento. Some of the cooler spots closer to that freezing point, which will be the case closer to Modesto and then down to the teens tonight across the Sierra. But tomorrow during the daytime, uh, we do warm up to about 60 degrees across the valley with mostly cloudy skies. Beautiful day tomorrow setting up into yellow. Salina County heading west toward Napa into the mid 60s and then north across Live Oak, Sutter about 62 degrees. And then as you get up in the higher elevations, temperatures a little bit cooler, but still not bad. Quincy at 50 degrees with mostly cloudy skies further south into Grass Valley, Colfax, Forest Hill uh, on either side of 60 degrees and then across parts of the higher elevations into South Lake Tahoe about 47 degrees with mostly cloudy skies south into Calaveras, Ebador, Tuolumne counties temperatures running in the lower to mid 60s closer to the valley floor and speaking of which uh, out toward uh, San Joaquin County to Stanislaus County you'll be running into the mid 60s uh, low to mid 60s and nice dry weather but that's all changing as we get towards Sunday's time frame. Interesting setup set, uh, coming in place. Area of low pressure pushing down to the south, and this is what we call a cutoff low. In other words, it gets removed from the main jet stream, so it's not going to move very quick, and it's going to start to tap into some of that subtropical moisture uh, and potentially resulting in an atmospheric river set up into California as we get into early next week. That trough of low pressure in place, this is a very classic uh, active pattern for us, and that will lead to several days of rainfall coming back into play. So if you have those plans that you're thinking about for this weekend, especially anything outside, if you can have those on Saturday, you'll be better off because Sunday looking to see the rain increasing when it comes to snow in this year. And a lot of snow lovers hoping to get some substantial snow looking to be starting off higher levels. It's a warm system, so starting off about 7000 feet, but those levels will come down by Wednesday. Still a lot of details to iron out specifics, including amount, intensity, timing of the most impactful weather, uh, but overall active pattern in place that will focus its uh, activity further south into Southern California as we get into the middle and latter part of next week. But forecast looking like this for the week ahead, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, fairly active, widespread rain chances, and we may see several inches of rain for the uh, for some of the uh, foothills. You can see the Sierra temperatures down to the 30s, though, with lowering snow levels by Wednesday. Marley.